In this tutorial, uh, I will be working with beautiful SOAP library to scrape out some news from the news website. Uh, I will be using the Python to extract the news link and then save them in the CSV file. So for this tutorial I will be using uh, Python which is 3.75 and I'm using the 64-bit version and the libraries where I will be working on are the request library and the beautiful SOAP library. So let's get started. Here you can see that I'm going to this news website which is basically uh, published from Pakistan and it's accessible in <coughs> all the all all over the world and what I would like to do here is I want to extract the links from the this this HTML and these links will be basically the uh, the including the title and the corresponding link which will be this so I'm gonna save them in the CSV file so for this let's just understand the basic theory what is going to happen if we go to the story here we can see that this story is having the data layout property and all of the other news are also having this data layout property as you can see so what I will do here is um, I'm, I'm gonna get all the news using this data layout property so let's get started first of all I will import the request library and then the beautiful soap and after that I will be needing the CSV file so first of all I'm gonna get the HTML from this link and then using beautiful soap I'm gonna get the HTML and I'm gonna parse this is HTML5 library then I have to get all the H2 tags here and I have to pass the attribute where it is called story attribute so if we just um, print all the h2 takes here and see like um, what I'm getting so I will just activate my virtual environment and go to the <clears throat> now if I run this script.python file uh, it's not in this folder
is okay and as you can see here if I just run this code you will see that I have got all the h2 tags here but my goal is just to get the link and the tag text of this news so how I'm gonna do this first of all uh, since I am uh, interested in saving them in CSV file so I will just create the CSV file this is just a random step it is not necessary it's just like I need this in the CSV file so I would like to save it in a CSV file and and then the writer will do dictionary writer and then I'm gonna pass my CSV and the field names would be equals to these field names then I'm gonna save this now it, in each link in the h2 tags what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to extract the uh, link using this same <clears throat> HTML parser and then I'm going to find the href tags because I will be needing them and then I'm gonna store it inside the CSV file which I have created so in the links text I will be having the okay and then I will be needing the file link also and I will be getting this from the getting link href index okay now after that when everything is done I will close this and I will just print that CSV has been generated okay I will close this at the end and I have forgot here the in so script has pretty much completed when this script will be run what is going to happen is that it will download all the news link with the text and it will store them in the CSV file 
So let's just run it and see if it's working. CSV has been generated. And let's just see. I have this um, links.csv file. And as you can see that uh, since I'm, I'm, I'm working in the Visual Studio code, so here you can see it has generated the CSV file with the link text and the corresponding link. So this is the CSV file. Oh, I think it's uh, okay. This is this is the new file. This was the old one. See, this is the text and this is the link so with beautiful soap you can uh, you can scrap any kind of website i have shown you one example if you have any question please let me know in the comment section and i will answer your queries there